Namaste. I want to welcome you to the most important part of your week, your Sabbath. The day that you get to bathe away the Sabbath tour in you. When I think about the Sabbath and keeping it holy, it was the day that God rested in being enough. It was after all the six days of speaking the world into the beautiful existence it is today that he stopped on the seventh day and said, I am enough. And so the soul bath is made up of seven ingredients, the number of completion. God also rested on the seventh day, as I said before and called it the Sabbath. And so first, I want to set the intention with some soul bath facts. And next, I want to take you on a guided meditation to go nowhere with me and become available to yourself. As you sit in this water, I want you to breathe in and breathe out as we speak about the seven ingredients that make up the soul bath. The first one is the extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil has long been considered sacred. The olive branch was often a symbol of abundance, glory, and peace. Over the years, olive has also been used to symbolize wisdom, fertility, power and purity. Mm. Can you feel the olive oil on you right now? Mm. The next ingredient, Epsom salt. I use that because I wanted to treat the minor aches and pains physically And it is also intended to allow you to rest from your ever-moving week. So I know you've been busy. I know you've been going. And so the Epsom salt is going to kind of soothe you, take care of the body, the flesh of you. The third thing is frankincense, the king of oil, pure and sacred represents independence, tolerance for adversity, and encourages freedom of expression and clarity as it is a healing oil. The next is the myrrh, which was originally used as an embalming oil, but I wanted to use it to honor the death of the saboteur in you, because remember this is your soul bath on your Sabbath. And one of the things that I uh, wanted to share with you is that when you look at the word Sabbath, it's Sab and a bath. And Sab is a root word to saboteur. And so I love that the myrrh will allow you to embalm and release in order to honor the death of your old self, of who you didn't think you were and to introduce your new self of who God always knew you could be, right? I am that I am. The next ingredient is baby powder. And I wanted to use that to represent the rebirth of you in order to go back to the place you were eager to eager to learn and grow daily. My, my, my. Do you remember what it felt like to be innocent, to be pure, and to be open to new possibilities. Yes, that's the baby powder. The next is the Egyptian musk. Because of its important spiritual benefits, musk oil is often used to purify and cleanse energy amid sacred spaces before meditation, yoga, or inner reflection periods. Since must interact so strongly with our sacral chakra and yin and yang, it also aids our healing from emotional trauma in the past and present. Egyptian musk has long been used for its calming properties. 
The comforting aroma is perfect for relieving all your stress and anxieties. It helps to soothe the senses and put your mind at ease. It stimulates the sense of smell and signals the brain to release hormones that help calm the mind and body. The next essential oil is peppermint, which is essential for grounding, a sense of calm and inner focus, and it also helps the throat chakra, which is the energy center of communication and self-expression by dispelling negative energy and improving confidence and leadership, it also improves mental function and reduces stress. Last, but certainly not least, the seventh ingredient is the lemon eucalyptus. Because lemon oil is considered to be uplifted, it is said the oil has the ability to bathe the penal gland with light, helping to awaken the latent gifts of the third eye. Penal gland is the small P-shaped gland in the brain, in case you're wondering. And latent means existing, but not yet developed or manifest. Hidden or concealed, lying dormant. In active gifts of the third eye, a place of enlightenment. Like regular eucalyptus, lemon-scented eucalyptus can be used for purification and protection to get rid of the negative energies and for healing rights. A great tool when embarking on new ventures or adventures. Now, wasn't that enlightening? I want you to sit and I want you to breathe in at this point. Don't forget to breathe out, of course. But I want you to remember the intention of every single piece that embodies the soul bath for your Sabbath. And now I want to take you a step further. Now that you know the intention and now that you are sitting in the actual elements of what just was described. I want to remind you of the major element you added, the water. I'm so blessed to be able to even have experienced the journey of creating this and on the journey of creating this so bad for our Sabbath. um, I found and learn some amazing facts about water. And so I wanted to now add the element in which we are sitting in that embodies all the ingredients that the soul bath is, and that's the water. I don't know if you realize this, but I learned not too long ago that water holds memory. Wow, I want you to stop for a moment and think about what I just said. Water holds memory. Prime example, the scent of the water right now is because it's holding the memory of the soul bath that you poured into it. And what I love about water is that we are made 60% of water. So it made me think, if water holds the memory and it held the memory of the bath you just put in, that soul bathing um, ingredient that you threw in that water that magically took on the the essence and the memory of all of those ingredients I just described. When you sit and you think about that, I want you to breathe in the idea that if you're 60% water, and you have lived as long as you are today. So whatever that age is, I want you to breathe in your age to yourself so that you can just sit in the space and the grace of the annual, the annual 
celebration of who you are today, right? And so when I think about the years, come on now, of experiences that we all endure, that's the price of admission, right? Moving through life. And so, and I think about me, the human being, you, the human being, being 60% of water, and I found out that water holds memories. It makes me sit and think about what memories am I carrying? What am I mostly filled with? What is the consistency of who I am? What does that look like? And so if water holds memory and we are made up mostly of water, what are the memories that you are carrying? Which many may call luggage, baggage, experiences. I call it process into promise. But what are those memories? And so as you sit in this water, the intention of going nowhere with me in order to become available to yourself, is to honor the person that you are. It is the uh, it is to honor the gift that you are. It is to bathe away the saboteur in you because of the memories in which you have claimed the pain but not the power. It is to release yourself of not being enough, not being worthy, not being needed not being necessary, but understanding that you carry who you say you are in the water, the being, your inside. And so over the last six days, you got to create your best life. You got to work in all the areas of the choices that you made. And on this Sabbath, the day you choose, your seventh day of every week. It is your opportunity to speak life over yourself, right? Because water holds memory and I'm 60% water and you're 60% water. And so on this specific day, on your Sabbath, now that we know what this water does and what it represents and what we're made of, right? I want you to speak life over yourself all day. I don't care what it is that you have to do today on the Sabbath of your choice, the seventh day that you choose to rest, right? You could start your week whenever I choose to do Monday myself as my Sabbath, but I just use that day to speak life over myself, to speak all the good things. I am that I am, to remember all the things that make me who I am today, and to honor all the work that I did over the last six days, right? Because after all, that's what God did. He, he sat in being enough on the Sabbath because he had already spoke and realized that in speaking it, he was creating it. And so on this day, I want you to speak the magic over yourself. I am amazing. I am instrumental. I am important. I matter, I am essential, I am dedicated. And so I want you to speak whatever it is. I am a good mom, I'm a good dad, I'm a good friend, I'm a good boss, I'm a good employee, I'm a great student. However you wanna speak life over the you that you are, speak it in a positive way especially on this day. I don't care what you do on the other six days as you are walking through life, so you may kind of be a little tough on yourself on those six days because you're creating, and in creating, we have to, you know, discipline ourselves sometimes. But on this sixth day, I want you to remind yourself of the you that is enough all day long. That is, that is the responsibility of your Sabbath, to speak life over yourself all day long so that when you get to the moment that you are in right now, tonight, that you are in a powerful position to now, what? 
bathe away the saboteur in you. And so all the things that you didn't like about yourself over the week, all the things that you didn't think rose up to the level in which you decided was standard. I want you to speak all of those negative things only at the end of this bath. Enjoy the whole bath. And when you get to the point, the ending, when you are ready to leave out of this water, I want you to speak those negative things that you may have thought about yourself over the last six days into the water. Because remember, water holds memory. And so as you sit here and you speak those things into the water, I want you to leave it in the water. And I want you to rise out of the water with the oil, the extra virgin olive oil, you just got you glistening and anointed in the power of being enough because you bathed the way the saboteur in you. You even had some myrrh in order to what? Embalm that person the right way, the person that thought they were not enough because God said, I am that I am. And so in resting and being enough, I want you to rise out of those situations. I want you to rise out of those difficulties. I want you to rise out of that limited belief that you are not amazing, powerful beyond measure. So as you rise up after you leave, that person behind, I want you to step out of this tub, step out of your bath and into your new promise. The promise that you are worthy. You're worth the yes. But not only do I want you to step out of this bath a new person, renewing your mind daily, but I want you to turn around and I want you to let those memories, that sabotage in you, I want you to let that go down the drain with the water because it held the memory of that which you chose to leave behind. And now I want you to sit and be in enough. And I want you to live the next six days of your life being conscious of just how amazing and special you really are and how the world will be missing a piece without you. I want you to sit, and I mean sit, in the responsibility of your I am and realize that you are enough, that you were born enough you were born enough my dear and so I want you to embrace who you are today love who you were yesterday and inspire who you will become tomorrow because love grows everything but you must first love yourself and so I want you to honor that self and as you're going through those next six, these next six days, even when you're hard on yourself, I want you to remember the things that you're working on so that when we meet back here on your Sabbath, that you can sit in the power again and release all the limited ideas and the limited beliefs that not being enough until you become fully that 60% water that's in you and to it transcend into a way that honors your breath because the gift is in your breath. It is the opportunity to dare to be different, to recognize that you have the power to change your life by showing up for you and speaking life over you. Because the most important thing about what God did was that he used his words. He created the whole world with just the words. The what, the way he saw, what he believed to be so, and he spoke it into existence. 
And so I want you to be mindful that you are 60% water and that you have held memories of years of experiences. And so it may take a while. It may take a couple of baths. It may take a lifetime of understanding because as sure as you build, you will learn, you will create, and you will have to remind yourself that you are enough. You are enough. You are enough. I celebrate you. Enjoy your bath. Enjoy whatever time you have left. And I want you to remember that you get Grace expects testimonies. You get to live the life of your dreams when you let go. Love every trial. And so it has been my honor to be the guide of this meditation. As God used me, I hope and I pray that it has inspired your spirit. This is a soul bath, a spiritual experience in order to get you to where you belong, which is full, full of love, full of excitement, and most importantly, full of life. It has been my honor, it has been my pleasure to serve you on today. Remember, you were born enough. I'll see you in a couple of days. Take care of your soul. You have been listening to the Soul Sage Doctor. Have an amazing week. Bye-bye.